everyone, this is Suzy Q of Suzy Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. Hi everyone, so today I have Maggie May with me, and Maggie May is very excited today. She's going to get to do a twinning video with her twin sister Lainey over at Carrie's Little Cuties Nursery. And um, let me show you the dress that they're going to be twinning in. Um, it's this one that, um, that I had gotten from Pet Pet, which is a really cool store that has, um, has cute clothes for really reasonable prices. And so um, I found this and thought that our two girls would be, uh, would look really cute in it. And so it's actually a, um, it's a short sleeve dress uh, with a jacket over it. And then um, it's got, uh, as you can see, it's got beautiful uh, roses and butterflies and um you know those look like those look actually look like uh blueberries that are <laughs> that are in there too um but anyway i just thought it'd be a really pretty dress for them to wear and so i'm going to be putting her in that and then um i i thought these shoes would be really cute too because it's such a summery little summer dress um i found these shoes little bows on the the toes and then there's a little opening for the toes right there and um, i'm going to go ahead and put socks on her um, the shoes are a little bit long i think and so i think socks would help to fill the shoes out that we'll see and then this um this pretty pink bow it's like one of those um, it's like made of linen i thought she looked pretty with that bow and then um, these pretty earrings that match the roses that are in the dress. And last but not least, um, I also sent this, um, this bracelet, uh, so sweet girl. <laughs> I sent this bracelet to Carrie for Lainey as well because um, I wanted them to have a friendship bracelet. And so here it is, and it's very pretty and very, very sparkly. You know me, I have to have to be fancy. But um, anyway, um, Carrie, I hope you figured out how to how to close it up. Um, I was um, I was fiddling with this just before the video, and I guess what you do is um, once you get you know you open it up, you slide this bit right here, these knots, you slide them way over, and you put it on their arm, and then you take hold of these two uh, pearls that are attached to the thread and then you just pull the pearls like this and it slides shut and then you have the little uh, dangly pearls. So anyway, I thought that um, I didn't, I didn't know that this brace would, <laughs> this bracelet would be so complicated, but um, so yeah, but uh, anyway, I just wanted them to have a little friendship bracelet. So there you have it. And that's all the accessories that we're going to be putting on Maggie Mae. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'll go ahead and take her little unicorn from her and set the unicorn right here in front. So, uh, yeah, uh, well, uh, let me tell you what I've been up to this week. Um, let's see, up until Thursday, it was a, or actually it was uh, up until Wednesday. Um, it was a very uneventful week. Things were going well. <laughs> and then um, then on Wednesday, um, I was, uh, when, it was actually on, um, no, I'm sorry, it was on Thursday, Thursday night. Uh, I, I had taken Jenny outside. Uh, it was about 7 o'clock in the evening. I had taken Jenny outside to play ball with her, uh, you know, for her last exercise um, session. And um, Jenny, when she plays ball, she is very aggressively uh, towards running. She runs really, really fast, as fast as she can. And then what happens is uh, um, sometimes by the time she gets to the ball, she, you know, she'll stop all of a sudden and then centrifugal force will, will cause her to roll over sideways like do a fast rollover and so she's done that quite a bit and nothing's ever uh, came of it but uh what happened on um on on thursday evening was that uh she, you know she she got the ball she brought it back over to me 
And when I stooped down to pick up the ball that was by her foot, I noticed that her left uh, paw was um, had blood on it. And so I, you know, quickly, I, I, well, first of all, I looked under her paw to see if maybe she had stepped on something. And no, she hadn't stepped on anything. And then, then I noticed um, her dew claw on her left foot um, was completely sideways to where, you know, it was, it was uh, parallel to what it was, not parallel, but it was um, sideways to what it was supposed to be. <laughs> to where it was, you know, supposed, supposed to be on her paw. And, uh, and it was bleeding and it looked awful. Um, it, it was like, if you, um, you know, it's like, uh, you know, snapping, snapping a fingernail off at the quick and, 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 and it was really painful for her. So, um, but anyway, um, as dogs do, you know, uh, she she was acting like oh nothing's wrong she kind of was limping on it and, and stuff but um no she was kind of acting trying to pretend like nothing was wrong but then um so i you know i thought oh i better you know i stopped the ball game uh immediately i i took her back up to the house and um i uh, i tried to clean her her paw up a, a little bit it was really painful so it was really hard for me to touch it but um i thought well the only medicine that i have that could you know prevent infection is the um uh, neosporin you know for uh for humans and so um, i had read before that neosporin is okay to put on dogs but um i don't know for sure you know i i don't i didn't remember but i i thought well it couldn't hurt you know so I dabbed a little bit of Neosporin uh, on her, and of course, um, you know, she immediately licked it off. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so she continued uh, limping and favoring that, um, that foot, and um, she kept licking that, that um, you know, her left foot, and it was just, so um, I wasn't really sure what to do. My, thir my first thought was, really was to um, take her to the vet and get that part of her nail clipped so that it, you know, so that it didn't bother her. But, um, but then I thought, well, maybe what I should do is just kind of wait and see what happens, you know? So that was in the evening and, uh, uh, and I couldn't, I mean, even if I wanted to take her to the vet, I couldn't take her because everything was closed, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my scissors out and cut this tag off. That's a really cool tag. Look at that. I mean, that is really, really neat. I like Pat Pat clothes. I just really do. These, they have some really cute stuff. So this is what the, um, the dress looks like. You know, it's a sleeveless dress. It's really cute on, you know, by itself. But I also like this um, this little jacket that came with it. Kind of makes it a little bit more, a little bit more fancy. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, to get on with my story. Um, uh, so yeah, that was on a Thursday night, and then that night was was not a good night for uh, my hubby and me or Jenny. Because what ended up happening was it was really sore and Jenny was, um, you know, she was whining and crying and it was bothering her. Um, but, you know, there was nothing I could do. And so um, on Friday morning, uh, fingers crossed, I called the vet, uh, you know, hoping that I could get her in. And uh, luckily I was able to get her in. We had a 1.30 appointment. And so... Um, uh, anyway, it was kind of, you know, miserable waiting until uh, <laughs> we had, let's see, we left about 1230, I guess it was, because um, it takes about an hour to get to the vet or basically anywhere that we want to go. Um, but, um, but anyways, yeah, so we, uh, you know, oh, and I tried out the, uh, I tried out her new crate. And, um, you know, she wasn't too bad, you know, her travel crate that I got, she wasn't really too bad in there she was um, you know at the same time it was something new um, she was hurting and um, so she did whine a little bit but not enough to write home about I think she did really really well I really do but 
Um, and, and I felt like, oh, it's just a, a big relief not to have her riding on my lap for an hour. So, yeah. But um, anyway, uh, so we finally, we got her to the vet and um, had about a 25 minute uh, wait. Uh, hold on just a sec. Sorry about that. I, um, I felt like I needed to cough and I didn't want to cough in your ear. <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah, at the vet, um, yeah, we had a, you know, about a 25 minute uh, wait, which is what um, I, you know, I always have to wait when I go to the vet, but that's all right. Um, and the vet came in and he take, took a look at, um, at Jenny and um, he gave me three options um, that were each of them were a different uh, cost. Um, he said it's not a life or it's not a life or limb situation. Um, what it's like is uh, is if you know, like a human, if we cut our uh, or broke our nail off to the moon, which is super super painful. But he said it's not like she could lose her toe or her foot or anything like that. But it is super super painful for her. So he gave me three options. Um, I chose the one that he recommended, um, which was he uh, he said that he was going to you know uh, clip off the the rest of the um the claw that that the nail that was left on and he was going to cauterize it and clean it up and you know um fix it all up so that it didn't uh didn't get infected so um anyway i went for that option which um you know it, it seemed to me like the um the best way for her to heal up you know nicely so Anyway, yeah, she, so they had her for about, uh, well, about 45 minutes, and um, uh, during that time, I went back out. My husband was um, waiting in the car for me, because he, he never goes inside, you know, and uh, he was waiting in the car for me, and I went back out, and I said, well, it's going to be at least uh, 45 minutes to an hour, and uh, he goes, well, do you want to go get some coffee? And I said, yeah, that'd be great, so... We, uh, we drove back the opposite way uh, to our, uh, our Sheets gas station that we, um, that we enjoy, getting our hot dogs and, and coffee. Let me go ahead and lay her down. I'm going to adjust, readjust the camera. So yeah, it, it took about probably uh, 10 minutes to get back to that, 10 to 15 minutes to get back there. And we went inside, and we um, we each had a coffee and a and a hot dog. Um, we really needed um, we really needed some energy because um, you know the night before I hadn't uh, I went to bed at about twelve thirty, and then my hubby woke me up at four thirty, and and he and he said you know um, uh, something woke me up at 4.30. I think it was my hubby with Jenny or something. And then he said, you know, um, she was whining earlier. And I said, you're kidding me. I go, oh man, you should have woke me up. Because, see, I have um, gotten used to Jenny having bad dreams. I usually don't wake up anymore when she has bad dreams. And so um, it's not a good thing. <laughs> but um, anyway, my hubby woke up, which is good. And uh um, but there was nothing that we could do with, for her, you know, we just kind of pet her and stuff, but, um, yeah, she was, she wasn't very comfortable that night. So anyways, I got about four hours sleep that night and uh, hubby got, um, you know, not that much more. So, uh, that hot dog and that coffee really rejuvenated us, you know, uh, for the drive back and for the rest of the day. But uh, yeah, just as we, we were about five minutes away from the vet and uh, uh, they called me and said, oh, Jenny's ready. So um, I said, OK, we're about five minutes away. And uh, we went back and um, they want to, you know, when they um, sedate the animals, um, dogs, they want to make sure that that uh, she can walk, you know, back out to the car. They don't want they want her fully awake to make sure that there are you know, there aren't any problems with uh, putting her under and stuff. So I guess it's not a, it's not something that they, um, you know, they didn't put her completely under. But he said that uh, the sedation, this type of sedation, um, 
you know, it was just like if to make them a little loopy, you know, and, and kind of like not knowing what's going on, but relaxed and stuff. So, um, you know, they, they really are. I mean, they, they know what they're doing there. But yeah, you know, she had a big bandage on her on her leg and um, but uh, they gave me some pain pills, which I'm very grateful for because um, uh, after the uh, sedation and the um, the numbing, they also numb the area when, you know, when they're going to uh, do any kind of work like that. Since it's not, she's not fully out. Um, when that wore out, wore off, um, she, you know, she started licking her paw like she, it was bothering her and stuff. So thankfully, I, you know, um, at that point I gave her um, a pain pill and uh, she enjoyed the pain pill because I always put her pills, uh, if she has to take a pill, I put it in peanut butter. <laughs> and that girl loves peanut butter. And I think most dogs do love peanut butter. You just see here turn her around make sure that I got everything all combed up back here but yeah um, you know we've had a couple of um, days of where it's she hasn't wanted to go on walks she's kind of limpy and it's hurting and stuff but today um, was the first day that she that I was able to take her on a full walk and boy, was she ready. Um, she actually wanted to start to do the zoomies with me <laughs> um, outside on our walk. And, uh, and I don't blame her because, you know, she hasn't had any full exercise, no ball games or anything uh, for a couple of days. And um, so she, and she really, really needs that that much ex exercise. So, uh, yeah, so she's doing fine today. Um, but it was a bummer that we had to go through all that with her and, and that she had to go through it too. Um, just really sad. Um, I'm going to pop a couple of pictures in the, so you can see um, the first night that, that she, uh, that we brought her back home and then um, the set and then the next morning um, she looked really sad. So, um, and you could tell that she was a sad girl. So I'm going to go ahead and pop those in right now for you. So there she is with her little sad face and um, yeah, but uh, I took the bandaid, uh, the bandage off and she's doing just fine. So um, it only took her a couple of days to recover, which is nice. Boy, animals sure recover quicker than people do. I'll tell you what. Uh, let's see what else has been happening. That was our biggest event. Uh, we did go grocery shopping. I'm trying to find out where I can put these these earrings. We did go grocery shopping um, on uh, the day before that we had to take um, Jenny to the vet and uh, it was kind of, it was a big, big shopping day. We had a lot to do and um, it was an all day shopping day, um, more so than normal. And um, so uh, anyway, you know, both of us were looking forward uh, to um, you know, to Friday being like a nice, relaxful day. Uh, that didn't happen because poor Jenny, you know, had issues. And so we had two days in a row of go, go, go. And uh, we're not used to that. You know, we never leave the farm. We rarely leave the farm, you know, except once a month to go uh, grocery shopping. So uh, anyway, but we, we're both okay too. So yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to put her bracelet on. This is a, quite an unusual bracelet, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm going to put it on this this uh, arm because her other arm has her bracelet on that she's that she was gifted to her by Auntie Claudia. This real pretty one with the stones, the the round um, stones. So yeah, uh, so so this is how you do this. Yeah, you just put it on and then you you pull the, these strings and there she goes. She's got this little heart on it, too. It's a cute bracelet. Yes, it is. So now they have a little friendship bracelet going on. But um, so, yeah, we went shopping and then um, I've been uh, I had to water my my garden again because we've had really hot weather, hot, dry weather. 
And so they, they need uh, a drink more often than I'm used to giving them. But, um, but anyway, here is sweet little Maggie Mae. And I'm going to go ahead and lift her up so that you could see her whole dress and her shoes and her socks. And I think she says that she wants to say hello to her twin sister, Lainey, that she did twinning with today. So hi, Lainey. Hi, Auntie Carrie. It's been a fun twinning day today. And she said, I, but also I want my unicorn back. She goes, I cannot live without my unicorn. So um, anyway, everyone, um, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my story about poor Jenny. Um, and I um, hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks so much for visiting. And until we meet again, bye-bye from me and Maggie Mae. Bye-bye.